Solving systems of equations can feel overwhelming, but what if I told you there's a way to cancel out a variable on purpose? That's the elimination method. Let's dive in. Consider the following two equations. 2x plus 4y equals 10. Negative 2x plus y equals negative 1. Now using elimination, we want to add the two equations. Notice the x terms are opposites, 2x and negative 2x, so they'll cancel out. Let's add the equations, 2x plus 4y plus negative 2x plus y. That gives, the x terms cancel, 4y plus 1y is 5y, 10 plus negative 1 is 9. So now we have 5y equals 9. Now divide both sides by 5, y equals 9 over 5. Let's plug this back into the second equation. Negative 2x plus y equals negative 1. Replace y with 9 over 5. Negative 2x plus 9 over 5 equals negative 1. Now subtract 9 over 5 from both sides. Negative 2x equals negative 1 minus 9 over 5. To subtract, we need a common denominator. 5 is the common denominator. Multiply 5 by negative 1, and we have negative 2x equals negative 5 over 5 minus 9 over 5. So, negative 2x equals negative 14 over 5. Now divide both sides by negative 2. The negatives cancel out, and we're left with x equals 14 over 5 divided by 2. To divide a fraction by a number, keep the fraction and multiply by the reciprocal. So x equals 14 over 5 times 1 half. Multiply. 14 times 1 is 14. 5 times 2 is 10. So x equals 14 over 10. Now simplify. Divide top and bottom by 2. x equals 7 over 5. So the solution to the system is the ordered pair, 7 over 5, comma, 9 over 5. Let's try another system using elimination. We're given equation 1, 2x plus 3y equals 16. Equation 2, 4x minus y equals 2. We want to eliminate y. To do that, we'll multiply the second equation by 3. 3 times the quantity 4x minus y equals 3 times 2. That gives 12x minus 3y equals 6. Now bring down the first equation. 2x plus 3y equals 16. 12x minus 3y equals 6. Let's add both equations together. Negative 3y plus 3y cancels out. 12x plus 2x is 14x. 6 plus 16 is 22. Now we have 14x equals 22. Next, divide both sides by 14. x equals 22 over 14. Now simplify the fraction by dividing the top and bottom by 2. x equals 11 over 7. Now let's plug that value of x into the second equation to solve for y. The second equation is 4x minus y equals 2. Now substitute 11 over 7 for x. 4 times 11 over 7 minus y equal 2. 4 times 11 is 44. So we have 44 over 7 minus y equals 2. Now subtract 44 over 7 from both sides. Forty-four over seven and negative forty-four over seven cancel out. Now we're left with negative y equals two minus forty-four over seven. To subtract, we need a common denominator. The common denominator is seven. Multiply two by seven to get fourteen. Now we have negative y equals fourteen over seven minus forty-four over seven. 
by combining like terms, 14 minus 44 gives negative 30. So, negative y equals negative 30 over 7. Now multiply both sides by negative 1. y equals 30 over 7. The solution in ordered pair is 11 over 7, comma 30 over 7. Let's solve the system using elimination. We're given equation 1, 5x plus 2y equals negative 1. Equation 2, 3x minus 2y equals 13. Look at the y terms. They're already opposites, plus 2y and minus 2y. That's perfect for elimination. Let's add the equations. 2y and negative 2y cancel out. 5x plus 3x is 8x. Negative 1 plus 13 is 12. So we now have 8x equals 12. Now divide both sides by 8. x equals 12 over 8. Simplify the fraction by dividing top and bottom by 4. x equals 3 over 2. Now let's plug that into the first equation to find y. 5x plus 2y equals negative 1. Replace x with 3 over 2. 5 times 3 over 2 plus 2y equals negative 1. 5 times 3 is 15, so we get 15 over 2 plus 2y equals negative 1. Now subtract 15 over 2 from both sides. 15 over 2 and negative 15 over 2 cancel out. 2y equals negative 1 minus 15 over 2. 2 is the common denominator. Let's rewrite negative 1 as negative 2 over 2. We have 2y equals negative 2 over 2 minus 15 over 2. By combining like terms, we have 2y equals negative 17 over 2. Divide both sides by 2. This is a fraction divided by a whole number. To divide a fraction by a whole number, we multiply the fraction by the reciprocal of the whole number. y equals negative 17 over 2, multiply by 1 over 2. We multiply 2 by 2, and we have y equals negative 17 over 4. The solution of the system is 3 over 2, comma, negative 17 over 4. Example 4. Solve equation 1, 2x plus 5y equals 8. Equation 2, 3x plus 2y equals 7. We need to eliminate a variable. Let's eliminate y. To do that, multiply both equations to get matching y terms. Multiply equation 1 by 2. 2 times 2x plus 5y equals 2 times 8. 4x plus 10y equals 16. Multiply equation 2 by negative 5. Negative 5 times 3x plus 2y equals negative 5 times 7. Negative 15x minus 10y equals negative 35. Now add the two equations. Negative 15x minus 10y equals negative 35 plus 4x plus 10y equals 16. Negative 10y and positive 10y cancel out. Negative 15x plus 4x gives negative 11x, and negative 35 plus 16 gives negative 19. Negative 11x equals negative 19. Divide both sides by negative 11. x equals 19 over 11. Now plug x into one of the original equations. 2x plus 5y equals 8. 2 times 19 over 11 plus 5y equals 8. 2 times 19 is 38, so we have 38 over 11 plus 5y equals 8. Subtract 38 over 11 from both sides. 
positive 38 over 11 and negative 38 over 11 cancel out. Now, 5y equals 8 minus 38 over 11. 11 is the common denominator. Multiply 8 by 11 and we have 5y equals 88 over 11 minus 38 over 11. By combining like terms, 5y equals 50 over 11. Divide both sides by 5. To divide a fraction by a whole number, the result is the fraction multiplied by the reciprocal of the whole number. y equals 50 over 11 multiplied by 1 over 5. Five times 11 is 55. Y equals 50 over 55. Divide top and bottom by five. Y equals 10 over 11. The solution of the system is 19 over 11 comma 10 over 11. If this helped, please consider subscribing to our channel for more step-by-step -step math lessons just like this one. Thanks for watching.